an 80s on-court staple turned into a summer low-top staple, depending on where you're from. Some people really do f them highs. But with a few minor tweaks and adjustments with the color and materials, the Air Force One quickly became a fall and winter staple, replacing, in my opinion, the need for a Timberland. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and review on these bad boys right here. Not only that, but I bought these, okay? These are not my size, but I bought these. We're gonna give these away to one of our lovely Wear Testers Discord community members. And I like these shoes so much that uh, we're not gonna just give one away. I got a whole nother pair. We're giving them both away. If you're part of the Discord, you already know, get excited. And if you're not part of the Discord. But with all that being said, this, my friends, is the Air Force One. This is actually the mid-top version of the shoe. Believe it or not, this and the low are actually my favorite. I do appreciate the highs, but I don't love the highs. However, this shoe right here originally was an Encore model. It debuted in 1982. The designer of the shoe is Bruce Kilgore. Some of you guys might be familiar with that name, especially recently because of the Air Jordan 2. He was the original Air Jordan 2 designer. Yes, I know, it wasn't Virgil. It wasn't Off-White. Some of you guys are like, oh, Somebody designed that shoe a long time ago, and then Virgil and Off-White, they gotta tweak it, and it looked fantastic. But Bruce Kilgore did not design a ton of like staple models within Nike's brand outside of the Air Force One. However, he did design a bunch of Nike tennis shoes, and one of my favorite shoes that he's also designed outside of the Air Jordan 2 is the Air Pressure. That was the, the, the knockoff of the Reebok pump back in the day. But what's so special about an Air Force One, not only has it been a timeless model, so these things, again, introduced in the 80s, they're still relevant every single summer. People go nuts over the white on whites. Like, I'm surprised every time that it happens, but I'm also not. And it doesn't matter what variation, it could be the high, the mid, or the low, people literally go nuts over white on white Air Force Ones every single year. So tell me, if they dropped a Chicago, for example, Air Jordan 1 every summer, you really think that that would dilute I don't think so, because classics are classics. What's the phrase? Legends never die? That's just what it is, man. The Air Jordan 1 is a legend. It will never, ever die, especially in a classic colorway. Just drop that. I have spoken. Now, these guys have admittedly turned into more of a lifestyle shoe. However, they still have all the original tech specs and features that the original did have, one of which is one of my favorite things in the entire world and it's air cushioning. It's the thing that really got me hooked onto Nike sneakers in the first place and this shoe right here is the first basketball shoe to feature Nike's air cushioning which I think is just so cool. So on the outsole right here we have a radial traction pattern very reminiscent of the Air Jordan 1 and the Nike Dunk and shoes of its time. Inside of this cup sole is actually foam and then encapsulated within that foam is the air unit. Technically it's a full length unit that's what they always had marketed the air cushioning as it's like full length air even though it doesn't go full length from heel to toe, it goes full length from heel to like midfoot, but it's still the same thing. That's just what they called it. This really cool ad is one of my favorites as well. It not only shows the shoe, but it showcases what's inside. I don't know why they don't do that anymore, but like they should. Now again, this particular colorway, in my opinion, just kind of like replaces the need for a Timberland boot. Obviously, if you live on the East Coast, which we don't, we live on the West Coast, so the worst weather that we get here is some rain. Over on the East Coast, a different beast, man. They got actual winters, you know what I mean? And for that, I understand you might need some boots. But if you're not a boot wearer, but you want to have that boot flavor, this is the way to go right here. This wheat, I think they call it flax. They drop these every season. They came a little late because now we're about to hit spring, but due to the pandemic and all of the logistics and shipping issues and the cargo containers being stuck in things and all that stuff. All I saw of these this year or this past winter was actually the kids version. And I kept asking all the stores like, when are you guys getting in the men's version? We happened to walk into one of the newer foot lockers here in the Sacramento area. And these were just sitting on shelves. I was like, how many of those do you got in the back? Can I get a couple please? I don't know when they're gonna be available online. All I know is that you should go look in your stores because they might be there. And if you love these, then you're welcome, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Now the upper on these guys, I think is awesome. Uh, it's basically a really nice, short-haired new buck. The uh, Air Force One strap is semi-removable. It's not completely removable, but this is exactly how we used to wear these joints back in the day. Back in the day, you would do that. You would loosen up them laces and then you would stuff a sock in it so it would puff up your tongue. Man, if you guys remember that, shout out to you. You're old, just like me. You might need to take a night cream. A night cream? Yeah. Like for my ass or for my eyes? <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> Stop the puffiness and swelling from everywhere. <laughs> Hemorrhoid cream. Oh man, getting old is not the business. <laughs> it's just not. And if the colorway itself and the materials that they use wasn't reminiscent of a Timberland or a boot just enough, they actually swapped out the laces on these guys. There's no flat laces. It's these cool little round boot-like laces with the little dots in them. Very 90s, I absolutely love it. And on top of that, the very top eyelet is actually a metal grommet. You know how like Jordan Brand does their like, oh, we're gonna do this, but it's a twist. And it's not really a twist. It's just like, well, that was lame. This is a cool twist. We're gonna put out the shoe that is synonymous for being the boot sneaker. You know what I mean? And we're gonna make it a boot sneaker. And this, this is dope. This is a twist done right. And it's a winter staple since its inception. When did they come out first? The flax colorway. Let me see. Flax. I think that's like in Metamucil, which you might also need to take. Me? No. <laughs> Look guys, I don't take hemorrhoid cream. I don't take Metamucil. I ain't that old yet. Okay? I leave the gray in here and sh Don't listen to her. She just me right now. I can't find anything. Oh, it looks like 2016 might be the oldest known article for these. So they're not too old. I think that's really cool though, is that it's still semi new as far as like sneakers are concerned. But this colorway is popping dude. Like they make these in highs, mids and lows. I think the mids are probably the best one personally. Like I feel like this is the happy medium between being a boot and being a sneaker. And on top of that, the quality on these is always done right because they only put them out once a year. That's the thing that I think is so important to know is that when you don't pump out releases every week and you're trying to capture these profit margins that are astronomical, you know what I mean? To please your shareholders. You can actually put out like decent quality stuff for the price points that you do it at and do it in a way to where when people like me buy them, we don't feel like we got ripped off. We feel like, oh, it's that time of year again. This is really cool. I'm going to re up on these. And again, they could do it with Jordan ones in certain colorways. They could do it with certain Jordans in certain colorways or obviously Nikes. And I don't know why they don't. It seems pretty smart and really easy. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, Air Force ones, in my opinion, fit a half a size large. So I would recommend going down half a size. That includes wide footers. True. You have your own pair of Air Force ones. She actually really likes hers. Yeah, they're the pick. Uh. <laughs> they're, the, they're the pickles. <laughs> yeah. Really, I didn't know that they dropped the pickle Air Force one. That's crazy. They're the pixels and you can watch it right here. Yes. I would recommend for everybody across the board, go down half a size. You should be good to go. They will be stiff at first. This is a cup sole. A chunky one at that. I love these so much. I'm not a huge like Air Force one wearer, but I love the model. I like it just looks perfect. I like them because they're like an understated platform. They give you a little bit of they do give you a little bit of extra height, which is kind of cool. Also, one quick thing to, to note though, is that I like the texture differences. So the rubber is a texture, the nubuck is a texture, the metal pieces are textures, the interior liner is a nice texture, and then the swoosh, it feels like it's like a wrapped leather mm -hmm. or almost like it's plastic. It feels really interesting and it's got another different texture to it. And I think it's a really cool feel all the way around like these just look super dope but with that being said thank you so much for watching thanks for all the support uh this is our review on the air force one mid in the wheat colorway or flax whatever it is that you want to call them the air force one tims in the wheat in the colorway. wheat colorway <laughs> they come out every season i think that it's a, a winter staple i love these if you are into boots but you don't want to wear them you want to wear sneakers all year round this is the way to do that i think but thank you so much for watching thanks for all the support let us know what you think about these down below in the comment section shout out to our discord by the way two of you guys gonna get laced up and with that being said thank you once again until next time guys have a good one